Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm Star. The message I heard is a test to see if you liked him or not. He wasn't convinced. The scripture comes from Sarah. 28 and 18, many have fallen by the edge of the sword, yet not so many as those who have fallen because of the tongue. So God is saying for someone... Um, there is somebody that you are interested in. This could be somebody you're dating. This could be somebody you want to be in a serious relationship with. They are very hesitant to be with you. I feel like God is saying this person think it's too good to be true. They don't believe that you truly like them. This could be somebody that is very, um, they're in denial because this, I feel like it's somebody you really are interested in them. They in denial they have low self-esteem and they are constantly thinking that, you know, it's something else. This is somebody that they are very like, I feel like they hold on to their heart. Like, hold on. I see like somebody doing like this, like they show to their heart and they don't want to fall for you, even if they already have. For some of y'all, they didn't already fail for you, but they are not allowing y'all to get too close because they feel as though you don't really like them like that. But you know what I'm saying? God is saying, many have fallen by the edge of the sword, yet not so many as those who have fallen because of the tongue. This is somebody that may say very mean things to you. This is somebody that I feel like this person, they they defend themselves. It's kind of like they shield themselves. They have built up this wall around themselves, and they can be very mean. They can be very nasty. It's giving... Like when a little boy likes a girl, when they kids and they mean to the girl, they bully the girl, they want to pull on her hair and hit on her and you know what I'm saying? Like they do stuff like that. And instead of just being real and saying that they like you and you know, I, and that's sad, but that's what it is. And for some of y'all is, you know, this, if this is, if, I just felt like if this is meant to be, it's going to be. But for somebody, that's what this person, they like you. They want to be with you, but they feel like it's too good to be true. And because they feel like it's too good to be true, they kind of, it's like they treat you as if you're an enemy or as if you don't really like them. And they more so will cling to people that they feel like they know for a fact those people like them because they are not as wonderful as you are. They feel like those are the people they deserve to be with. Not not realizing that you really do like them. And, you know, uh, God said pretty girl fic. Like, I feel like it's somebody, maybe you're very attractive um, and you're a very popular, high commodity. And this person feel like you don't really like them for them. But it's like you they don't even allow you to. I feel like they purposely don't spend time with you. They purposely don't talk to you. They, It's like they're not even giving you a chance. But you know what I'm saying? For some of y'all, this is just to let you know what's going on. And I feel like, you know, obviously if this person is not going to give you a chance, maybe they have been traumatized by somebody in the past or whatever. Maybe they liked a pretty girl and she embarrassed them or she did something, whatever. Like, I feel like what's the point of you, you know what I'm saying, putting forth effort if they showing you like you know what i'm saying it's i, I just feel like because for as a woman i know me personally as a woman i don't feel comfortable chasing no man and i feel like this is somebody that's kind of making you feel like you need to show them that you're worth it you got to show them that you want them you got to show them that you really want to be with them and meanwhile it's very i just feel like it's awkward for you and, you know, it, it kind of makes you feel, it puts you in a bad spot. It kind of makes you feel as if they don't want you. And it, it's unfair to you, to be honest. I feel like this is somebody, it's unfair to you that this person is basically making you feel as if, you know, like you a problem. Like you, you know what I'm saying? That's not fair to you. Anywho, that's the message, you know. God saying, you know, uh, this is a situation where you're feeling very, uh, you're just not understanding what's going on with this person. And you have to understand when you're beautiful, there will be people that felt as though 
they were picked on by the pretty girl. They were bullied by the pretty girl. Now, some of these people is valid. They may have had went through those experiences. And some of them, they made that up in their mind. And they just felt like she's so pretty, so... And she's not my friend, so she's harassed. She's messing with me, and the boy I like likes her, and this and that, that. And you know what I'm saying? It's not always a situation where somebody was really messing with them or somebody even said anything to them. They just didn't like them. And then sometimes it's a situation where the boy, he liked her so bad, and she wouldn't date him, and she dated this person, but she wouldn't date him, and she didn't this, and she didn't that, and they take that to heart. I think the saddest thing about this is, like, it, that's how it's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? Everybody is not going to get a chance to be with one person. And, you know, for somebody to allow something like that to cause them to treat every other attractive person, they meet a certain kind of way. They got something going on in their head mentally. You know what I'm saying? And this is why, you know, we see... Uh, different stories in the media as well as on the news of women that have been attacked simply because they rejected a man it's crazy everybody ain't gonna say yes everybody is not gonna be interested everybody is not going to you know what i'm saying i just feel like and then it's it's the craziest thing about this hill is simultaneously these same very men that get upset when a woman rejects them regardless to her reasoning as to why, will climb on these, uh, on the same social media and claim that these women are sleazy and they, they need to stop sleeping around and they shouldn't do this and they shouldn't do that. Well, pick a struggle. You cannot assume that just because a woman is attractive that she should be with you, then simultaneously get mad if a woman feels pressured to be with everybody that find her attractive. And, you know, I'm not defending that kind of, those kind of actions. I'm not defending that kind of activity. But what I'm saying is, it's just, I just feel like this is somebody, it's unfair to you. And God sees it's unfair to you. You can't help the way that you were made, regardless of how you look. And, you know what I'm saying? It's not your fault that you're beautiful. It's not your fault you're attractive. It's not your fault that men are attracted to you. It's not your fault. And it's not fair that, you know what I'm saying, the person that you want to be with, that wants to be with you, is literally rejecting you because he's reminded or she, whatever, he or she, I feel like this is more masculine, is reminded of that one girl from 20 years ago that rejected him. And it, it just, it, it, it rubs him the wrong way. It's not fair. And that's just what it is. But you know what I'm saying? I'm being real. And I say, like, you know, this is just uh, to give someone clarity to the situation. Everybody's situation is different from some of y'all. It's going to be, you know, you're going to get over this. You're going to move on. You're going to find somebody that is going to love you. And for some of you, it's going to be a situation where you may end up with this. Maybe this person going to wake up and they're going to realize that they would prefer to be with the person they actually want to be with. But and then to be with somebody, you know, settle for someone that they really don't want to be with just because they, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, for some of y'all, this person is just never going to feel comfortable being with someone that they're actually attracted to. And it's just. And if they do get with somebody that they're actually attracted to, you got to be careful because they may mistreat her on purpose. They may abuse her on purpose. They may use her. And, you know, like, I just feel like you have to be very careful. Um, and it's sad, but it's the truth. And that's just what it is. You, you don't want to end up in a relationship with someone that is basically, they, they have a, a vendetta to solve and you don't have nothing to do with that. But they are abusing you, being nasty to you, cheating on you, and mistreating you just because Susie from 20 years ago did them dirty. You Like, you got to be careful about friends, too. Because you don't want to be in a position to where somebody, they deliberately being mean to you. They don't really want to be your friend. And they want to mistreat you, this, that, and the third. And they don't like this, and they don't like that. All because some girl... 10, 15 years ago, 
that was pretty did them dirty i just feel like god is saying when it comes to this his situation baby just be be careful now it's just be careful now this is somebody that they they feel some kind of way anyways that's the message thank you guys for watching be sure to like share and subscribe deuces